For the past decade, Gran Turismo has put us in the driver's seat of some of the fastest cars in the world and set the standard for realistic racing in video games. So how do you raise the stakes of the ultimate racing franchise? Meet Kazunori Yamauchi, the creator and driving force behind Gran Turismo. While he's the one behind the wheel, it takes an international team of experts to bring this vision of automotive perfection to the PS3, and with over 1,000 cars featured in GT5, they've obviously been busy. We met with two North American localization producers to get an inside perspective on the creation of this jaw-dropping racing simulator. When you're in the middle of production, what's your day-to-day -day like? Earlier stages of the game, we're doing a lot of research, uh, going out, talking to car companies, going to race events and car shows, and doing, um, getting the latest and greatest of the American um, automotive industry. As uh, North American producers, we're the eyes and ears of our team in Tokyo in the U.S. But once it gets later in the production, there's a lot of approvals and submissions that we have to do with car companies. Towards the end of the game, there's a lot of translation to do from Japanese to English. We put a lot of effort into culturalizing the game to meet local market expectations. So how do you decide what music goes into such a fast-paced game? Yeah, we always, that's the part, the hardest part, because everybody has different music tastes, and even like between me and Chris at work, we have different music tastes. You know, Gran Turismo is a evergreen franchise, so we definitely want to pay attention to music that's going to be timeless. We've been around for a decade, so the music that we pick is not something that's just going to blow over like in the next few months. It's something that definitely needs to stand up to history, just as the cars. What does it take to actually model a car and get it ready for Gran Turismo? Well, the modeling all takes place in Tokyo because the polyphony team is in Tokyo, Japan. I set up the photo shoots for the U.S., especially for the U.S. cars because, you know, they're not available in Japan. And once we pick our cars, we usually get a hold of a nice car like this and then we set up a photo shoot. After the roster is set, teams in the U.S. and Japan detail cars down to every nut and bolt, setting up photo shoots that include video and still photography of over a thousand pictures per car. The images are then brought back to Polyphony Digital in Tokyo, where the cars are modeled in meticulous detail, most taking three to six months to complete. You get an exact replica of what that car really looks like in the real world. Only after that do we start figuring out, okay, what are the performance aspects? GT5 has a brand new physics engine, and it's something that we've been constantly evolving since the days of Gran Turismo 1. The physics engine is the heart of the game. Fortunately, we've been out there for more than 10 years, I guess. During that 10 years, the programmers have been nourishing that, that physics engine. Where we are now is all the data that we've accumulated throughout the lifetime of the game to really understand this is physics in the real world this is how it's going to affect the car in our virtual world. I mean, Gran Turismo is constantly pushing the envelope in terms of technology and having a PS3 with uh, its processing power and HDMI capability, it's a playing field, it's really, really fun. The amount of data that the PlayStation 3 can handle these days it allows us to, to put a thousand cars in the game and do what we want to do. Our brilliant programmers in Japan, they make it happen. We're at this point where we can train real-life drivers to become uh, race car drivers. Ready to race? For the first time, you can sharpen those skills kart racing before you risk your million dollar ride. Other new features include realistic damage modeling, customizable race courses, an upgraded B-Spec mode where you can direct your own team of AI drivers, and join your friends in the 16-player online mode. There's a lot of fans that think that they're the best at the game. So with the new online feature in GT5, this will be like the first chance that people will prove that they're the best. In addition to these upgrades and new features, Gran Turismo 5 is racing into the third dimension. When you're driving in 3D, you do feel like you have the entire car wrapped around you, especially when you're in the cockpit view. All the detail that we put into capturing the data is reflected in game and in 3D it's like you're sitting there and just the entire thing is wrapped around you. We think it's a it's the next step to being closer to reality. Whether you can drive faster that way, I'm not sure. It's all it's all about feeling good, you know. In keeping with its global focus, the GT team is including some homegrown American racing for the first time ever. 
in a one step further move to make uh, Gran Turismo America friendly, we decided to reach out to NASCAR, the, the biggest American auto sport. So we had to do a lot of research and go out to a lot of races and go out to the teams and do a lot of studying to get that stuff in the game. We're excited. It's going to reach out to a new demographic and we'll hopefully get new fans out there. And you've got Jeff Gordon in the game. Yeah, we do. He's going to be uh, appearing in a section in the game where he kind of teaches you how to drive NASCARs. Hi, I'm Jeff Gordon, professional NASCAR driver. I'm here to teach you driving skills that are unique to NASCAR racing. But NASCAR is such an important part of American racing culture that it would not really be fair to not introduce that racing style to our users worldwide. If you're ready to take part in the Gran Turismo story, just get behind the wheel. The story mode really in Gran, in Gran Turismo is how far are you willing to push yourself as a gamer? Our game is all about openness, freedom. We want people to create their own stories in the game over and over again. It only takes a moment to see that the GT team's attention to detail and dedication has made all the difference when the rubber hits the road. So get ready to take the wheel and drive into the future of racing games.